National Phil and Lumber's Group Jeffries United States plan to end Phil the Parole, Seattle, Washington and National Organization of Filipino American Lawyers, and Paula, expressed disappointment at the August 2, 2019 decision of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USIT, to terminate the Filipino World War II Veterans Parole, program, which was created to honor the service of Filipino World War II veterans and enable them to have their family members join them in the United States. The OSIT announcement that it intends to terminate the FUS program is a great and disconcerting one, says Paula President Harry Los Santos. Los Santos argues, there are approximately 6,000 working Filipino American World War II veterans in the United States many of whom require the care and assistance of their families and greatly desire to have their family members in the United States during their final days. In 1941, more than 260,000 Filipino soldiers responded to President Roosevelt's call to arms and enlisted to fight for the United States during World War II. Many made the ultimate sacrifice as soldiers in the U.S. Armed Forces in the Far East and as guerrilla fighters during the Imperial Japanese occupation of the Philippines. Approximately 26,000 brave Filipino soldiers who fought under the American flag became proud U.S. citizens. As U.S. citizens, these individuals can petition for their family members to come to the United States. Unfortunately, due to statutory visa caps, many individuals wait four years or even the case to be reunited with their family members. Parole is an avenue provided under the Immigration and Nationality Act that allows individuals to temporarily come to the United States on a case-by-case -case basis for urgent humanitarian reasons or significant public benefits. In 2016, Uses, implemented the FUS program in recognition of the contributions and sacrifices of Filipino veterans who fought for the United States during World War II. Under this program, certain family members of Filipino American veterans may be granted parole to come to the United States to provide support and care to their fifth Latino veteran family members who are U.S. citizens or lawful permanent residents. Specifically, those who may benefit from the FUS program are individuals 1. Who are the beneficiaries of Forms I-130, Petition for Alien Relatives, including any accompanying or following to join spouse and children, who were approved on or before the filing date of the parole request. 2. Whose qualifying relationship with the petitioning relative existed on or before May 9, 2016. 3. Whose petitioning relative is residing in the United States, or, is, deceased, was residing in the United States at the time of death. 4. Whose immigrant visas are not authorized for issuance per the application final action date chart for family sponsored preference cases on the Department of State Visa Bulletin. And, 5. Whose petitioning relatives have established they are either Filipino, World War II veterans, as recognized by the Department of Defense, or are the surviving houses of such individuals. In all cases, whether to parole a particular individual under this policy is a discretionary determination that is made on a case-by-case -case basis. Since the FUS program was created, nearly 300 Filipino families have been reunited in America. Therefore, we strongly urge the USIS to reconsider its position on this matter, Los Santos appeal. Furthermore, we repeat our call for Congress to pass the Filipino Veterans Family Reunification Act, introduced in both the House of Representatives and the Senate earlier this year, which would expedite the visa process for children of naturalized Filipino World War II veterans. To learn more about and follow us, visit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.